Let's take a look of example number five. Thirty minus two times absolute value of three x minus one is equal to eight. And let's review the flashcard. Whenever we are solving absolute value equations, we need to first make sure to isolate the absolute value. If this is equal to a positive number, then we can split this into two different equations. But these two equations are the normal equations. They have no absolute value with it. Okay. And before I solve this equation, first of all, we see the 30 minus 2, but do not just do 30 minus 2 and say that's equal to 28. Okay? Why is that? Let me give you guys an example on the side first. Let me ask you, how would you solve for the equation um, 30 minus 2, why it's equal to 8? So if just ignore this for, for a minute. So 30 minus 2y is equal to 8. You see that 30 is just a number, but 2y has a variable, right? They are two different terms. They are not like terms. And we cannot combine um, two different terms. And what you want to do is, minus the 30 first, and the 30 cancels out. We end up with negative 2y is equal to 8 minus 30 is, minus, is negative 22 negative 2y and we are going to divide by the negative 2 because that's like negative 2 times y divide by negative 2 on both sides it cancels and we get y is equal to negative 22 over negative 2 it's positive 11 okay so that's how you solve for y and that's exactly what we need to do right here to isolate this absolute value this absolute value is kind of like the whole quantity by itself, okay? So, do not just do 30 minus 2 and say that's 28. What you want to do is minus 30 on both sides. Cancel out the 30. We get negative 2 absolute value. 3x minus 1 is equal to negative 22. And here we have negative 2 times that absolute value equal to negative 22 so we are going to divide because here is multiplication we are going to divide by negative 2 divide by negative 2 on both sides so this negative 2 and that negative 2 will cancel and then we did it we have absolute value of 3x minus 1 it's equal to negative 22 divided by negative 2 is positive 11 okay And then, once we have the absolute value by itself like this, absolute value is equal to a positive number, then we can split this into two different equations. The first one, you keep the inside the same. 3x minus 1 is equal to 11. Or the second case is, you keep inside the same. 3x minus 1. But then here, you are going to make this equals to negative 11. And now we have two normal equations, we can solve this in a normal way. Here, that's plus 1 on both sides. So the 1 cancels, and I get 3x is equal to 11 plus 1, which is 12. 3 times x is equal to 12, we can divide both sides by 3. So the 3 cancels, and we have x is equal to 12 over 3, which is equal to 4. So this is my first answer, right? the first solution. For this one, same procedure, but with negative 11 instead. Let's add 1 on both sides. And this is my 1. So minus 1 plus 1 cancels, and I get 3x here. It's equal to negative 11 plus 1. It's negative 10 here. And then uh, we can just divide both sides by 3 like this. 3 cancels x is equal to 10 over 3 we cannot reduce it so we can just write this as negative 10 over 3 second solution okay so three uh, two solutions for this question 